Let's find out how to export from AutoCAD, any AutoCAD drawing, and import it into Revit. Let's get straight into it. First things first, open up your AutoCAD drawing, and we're going to be wanting to import this floor plan into Revit. So what we can do is first make sure that it's at the right origin. And to do that, all we have to do is just highlight everything that we want or select everything that we want to move. We're going to type in move as a command, and then we're just gonna specify the point that we want to be sitting on the origin. That can just be any random spot that's kind of centralized. I'm gonna click that spot. I'm then just going to move that point to the center of the origin. And with that done, we can now save this out as a DWG file. I'm going to save as, I'm gonna to go to my desktop. I'm gonna call this design construction multi-story. And now we can get into Revit. That's pretty much it done for AutoCAD. So as long as you're at that point, you can now open up Revit and we can start to import that. And so to do that, all you have to do is go to the insert tab. And first of all, you wanna make sure that you're on your floor plan if you are importing a floor plan. If you're importing a section or a 3D drawing or you know your 3D model from AutoCAD to Revit, then you're going to be want to be in that view if that makes sense. You're gonna to wanna to be in the view that you're importing to. So for us, we're importing our ground floor plan. So we're gonna to go to the ground floor plan view. From the insert tab, we can now go to link CAD. And this is where it's important that you get the right settings. We're going to select that file, but first we're going to make sure the colors are correct. We can either preserve the colors that are from the AutoCAD drawing, but I think we just need it as black and white for now, that's fine. We want all the layers to be or, and the levels to be visible. The import units are probably the most important part here. Make sure that you're importing the same units that are from your AutoCAD drawing. Otherwise you might have a drawing in Revit that is either too big or too small. Our AutoCAD drawing is in millimeters, so we're going to import this as in millimeters. Now, this is important as well. The origin, we can leave origin to origin because we've already moved the origin. If your origin is way off or um, just not in the right spot in AutoCAD, this will then also throw your drawing way up into another dimension in your Revit file. So make sure you're going origin to origin. I said that really weird. And we can just place that at the ground floor. Yes, we want to orient it to the view. Yes, the correct lines that are slightly Oh yes, please correct the lines that are slightly off axis. Let's open that up and see what we get. There we have it, that's our AutoCAD drawing imported into Revit. Now what we could do is we could go to the architecture tab and we could start actually drawing walls over some of the walls that we have here if we wanted to do that. And so there you have it, that's how you can just easily import and link your CAD file into Revit. The great thing about Revit is that it works seamlessly with CAD so that you can, when you link your CAD, what you can actually do is make changes in your AutoCAD file and it will update it in the Revit file as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on it and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and I'll see you then.